Peel Away is the professional's choice for removing multi layers of old paint from a variety of surfaces and substrates. Peel Away is often architecturally specified and is regularly used on restoration work where damage to the surface or risk to the environment is of concern. The speed of a traditional paint stripper is sometimes a false economy. Whilst the paint stripper may seem to work quickly, the old paint must be scraped away as the product is working, which can be a time-consuming process. Multi-layers of paint will usually need repeated applications. The use of hot guns and sanding may also not be advisable due to high levels of fumes and dust. In pre-1960s properties, the paints used may contain lead, which can cause an even greater health risk when the fumes and dust are released into the environment. Using a chemical paint stripping product such as Peel Away 1 to remove old lead-based paints is an excellent choice. Peel Away paint removal systems are effective in a wide variety of situations and can save hours of labour time and cost. Once the surface has been coated up, Peel Away works away, releasing you to work on other parts of the project. Before starting your project, you should make sure you have the right product for the job. Each paint removal job will have different paint types and thicknesses. Baratine provide test packs to help you choose which of our products is the right one to use for your situation. Peel Away 1 is intended to strip multiple layers of older oil and lead-based paints. New Safer Peel Away 7 is for stripping multiple layers of modern oil and water-based paints. We cannot overstate the importance of carrying out test patches before progressing to a full paint stripping program. The test patches will also help you assess how thickly to apply and how long to leave the product before removal. If you have problems getting the test patches to work or have any other questions about your project, please contact us. Contact details are available at the end of this presentation. Once you have established that Peel Away successfully strips the coatings you are trying to remove and you have purchased the appropriate product, we strongly recommend a larger test patch is done to confirm the time and thickness the paste needs to be left on for. As you apply Peel Away, you must pause to apply the special cover that comes with each product. To simplify the cleaning up process, as the product completes reacting with the paint, it will dry back onto the blanket, leaving only a residue on the surface to be washed off. It is important that you apply as much product as you are able to easily remove at the end of the stripping time, and regular checking is needed to see how the stripping process is progressing. Peel back a small section of the cover and paste with a spatula to check the surface, then carefully replace. Sometimes it is better to leave the product on a bit longer, even if it has finished stripping, to allow the drying out process to continue so that more of the residue of paint and paste adhere to the blanket. Once the peel away paint stripper and blanket has been removed, cleaning up can begin paying careful attention that the protection put in place at the start is sufficient to cope with any runoff. Cleaning up can be achieved by using a bucket and sponge, water spray and rags, low pressure jet wash or hose. When using Peel Away 1, applying the neutralizer towards the end of the cleanup is essential. Once applied and allowed to dry, use pH testing strips to make sure the surface is pH neutral. In summary, some of the benefits of Peel Away are as follows. Peel Away removes multiple layers of paint. Peel Away is safer than traditional paint strippers. Peel Away is methylene chloride free. The Peel Away system helps to prevent lead particles escaping into the environment. Peel Away eliminates the risk of fire associated from burning off paint and also the health risks from old paint fumes. 
Peelaway is trusted by professional trade personnel, is often architecturally specified and has been used on a number of prestigious projects such as the British Museum, Greenwich Palace, London Underground, the Victoria and Albert Museum, Buckingham Palace, Great Pulteney Street Bath,